Hi everyone, so today we're going to be talking about how to get data off the web and to process it in MATLAB. So it turns out that a lot of really important uh, information about our environment is available on the internet. For instance, Fisheries and Oceans Canada provides tidal and, um, and water level information, water flow information, for different places all around the country. So you can take a look at uh, the, the information from the Canadian Hydrographic Service at places around Thunder Bay, around Port Stanley, um, etc. They're, they're all over the place. And, and you can actually call these places um, using, using your, your telephone. You can actually ask for, for the information. So for instance, I'm going to take a look at, uh, or I'm going to ask for the information using my phone. It's like an old school Blackberry right here. Uh, and I'm going to phone the information for the water level at the St. Lawrence River near uh, a lock um, at the uh, Iroquois site. Please press pound. So I press pound. Hello, press one for English. So we'll do it in English, but you can do it in French too. Canadian Hydrographic Service. Water level announcing system. The present level is zero point two one meters during the last 12 hours a half zero point two four meters and a low of zero point one eight meters were recorded these lamps so there's a sensor at that location that keeps track of the water level for that that particular uh, body of water and there are many such um, sensing systems all over the country so you can phone them and in one of the lab activities we're doing that's what you're going to do and actually some of them actually accept fax calls too um, but you can also access them through MATLAB so how, how would you do that well you take a look at the the websites basically that contain that data and here's one of them this is uh, dd.weather.gc.ca and in it it's got all sorts of information uh, including hydrometric ones so I'm going to click on this then CSV because CSV is a type of data file that you can import into programs like MATLAB or Excel and I'm going to choose let me see the all the provinces and, and let's see we have some territories listed here as well I'm going to choose British Columbia I'm going to go for the daily information and I'm going to choose one of the the sites now they're coded so each site has a special code so one of the sites is 07 EA 0 uh, for, and I'm going to click on that, and up comes all of the information for it, and even the headers uh, for all of these columns of information are uh, up here at the top, and we can use that in order to create to pull down this this information in MATLAB and to create graphs based on on the information that's in these um, constantly updated data files for water levels and, and water flow. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to MATLAB now. Here we go. And I'm going to use the web read function like this. Nope, not that one. Right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull down the CSV file. You can see it listed right here in the character array. So I put single quotes around the name of the, the website. Okay, and the file located at that website right here. And I'm using web read in MATLAB to go and get it. And I'm going to assign the information to the variable called gauge data. So I hit enter and you'll see the information get brought in. Here we go. It's being brought in as a MATLAB table, which is a, a, a data form that we haven't really covered in class, but that's okay. We can still, we can still use it using the examples that are in the lab documentation. And, uh, and now what I want to do is I want to plot it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a plot on the variable called gauge data. Whoops. There we go. So we downloaded the information off the website. We stored it in a variable called gauge data. You can see it over here in the workspace right there. And uh, we put a little dot right there to say that we want the component of that gauge data called water level niveau d'eau in meters. All right. We're going to put a title on the graph. We're going to put a lot Y label and an X label as well. I hit enter. And you can see it appear in the figure right here in the in the window where you can see that the water level for this particular site in British Columbia 
varies um, for all the samples here. We've got about 9,000 samples that were taken. And you can see that it varies from just under 2.2 meters to about 2.1, and it actually peaked at around 2.3 meters. So there you go. That's how we can pull in information off the internet using MATLAB.